No joke, guys. This thing's been sitting since May. There's some of the uh, red sand from Moab still. So if you have a TJ, this is probably going to happen to you at some point. What you'll find is the ignition switch still turns, but the starter won't engage. And so once I take that out, I'll show you guys what breaks and it leaves the ignition switch inoperable. So I've been jump starting it with a jumper cable to the exciter wire on the starter. And that's how I've been moving it around. Uh, I don't think it's moved in eight months. That's how long it's been sitting. Just had other things on the go and now we're finally getting to it. So yeah, we're gonna dig in and get to the alternator. for the alternator and we can see both of them perfect i'm going to try to do this without pulling the power steering off this out. Haha, <laughs> so close. So close. For the second verse, just the reverse of the first. Once you have it figured out, it goes pretty easy. Gotta get it to roll in there. Just like that. If the Jeep wasn't so tall, it'd be easier to work on. Now to reconnect the power. Start it up and see if it charges. Here's the old alternator. She's a little corroded. So first of all, we're gonna need to take the steering column cover off. There'll be two Phillips screws, one in this side one right here. Get those removed. Alright, I'm back with the proper tool for the job. Take the top cover off. And you can pop the bottom cover off. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now we can turn the key to the on position. And then there's a little, little button here that you can depress and the lock cylinder will come out. And the next step, this cover with this cable lock on it, we need to take that off next. Show you guys that button. You push that right there. And then that allows the lock cylinder to slide out. Okay, so once you pull the lock cylinder out, you gotta remove the multi-function switch. Which are these two screws. Once you have those two screws out, the switch should just pop up. Just like so. Sorry, it's a little harder to do with one hand. Next, you're gonna need some tamper-proof Torx, which is no big deal. You can get those pretty much anywhere nowadays. You need to remove this tamper Torx to remove the ignition switch, and then we can remove the bottom plate. Okay, now that we have this screw out, we can go ahead and take the bottom plate off. All right, two more tamper-proof Torx. Remove the plate, pay attention to the spring. Now we can slide that out. So I'll go ahead and get the ignition switch disconnected from the electrical connector. Get this out to show you guys what to do next. All right, we have the new one here. We'll set that to the side for now. We need to get this removed. So it's gonna have two clips. So we'll get a set of uh, picks or a flat screwdriver in there, get those pried out so we can slide this piece. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. There. Pair needle nose work best. And hey, look, there's a the broken piece. So that being broken, doesn't allow this to turn all the way internally. And that's why we don't have crank. So set that aside. Put the new one in. You wanna make sure you get the orientation right. And don't do that. It's a snug fit, but once you get it in, just take your time and uh, watch that this doesn't pop off on you and you'll be fine. Okay, all the screws are back in place. The bottom cover is back on. Made sure to get the spring back where it was. We're gonna reinstall our lock cylinder. Just took two hands to fiddle with it. Now it's all lined back up. Check the operation. Seems to function as intended. You want to make sure that the crank returns, which it does. The key comes out. Now I'm going to reconnect the battery and make sure it starts. <clears throat> okay, battery is reconnected. We have key on. Let's make sure it cranks. Perfect. All right. Now let's go ahead and put all the plastic covers back on, and that's it. Oh, bolt the multifunction switch back down first. Then put your covers on. Well, that's going to do it for today's video of working on the Jeep. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.